In this video, we're going to look at how to set SketchUp up ready for you to create some accurate models. Now I'm going to launch SketchUp. And the first thing you'll notice is that when it opens, you see a picture of our friendly Sang against a lovely green background and a lovely blue sky. Now this is great, but actually it's not ideal for drawing accurate and technical drawings. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle and you'll notice that when I draw the rectangle that we're seeing it from a perspective viewpoint. Now this is not brilliant because it distorts the image. We're also measuring in feet and inches. Look down here where it says dimensions. Now we don't measure in feet and inches in the Isle of Man. We use the metric system and we measure in meters, centimeters and millimeters. And we can tell SketchUp to do the same. We do this by changing the opening template. We go up to SketchUp and Preferences. In the list of different preferences we look for Template and you can see that there are a whole host of different templates that SketchUp is offering us. We're going to go right down the list and look for Plan View in Meters. This will give us a top-down view and will measure in the metric units that we are used to. Once we click it, we can close the window by clicking the red blob and we can close our existing SketchUp document and make a new one. From now on, when we go File and New, we will get a top-down view. Let's just move that. You can see that this is a top-down view and we are now measuring, when I draw a new rectangle, in meters. You'll notice as well that it is measuring meters and has got three numbers after the decimal point. This is measuring accurately to the nearest millimeter. Now that's brilliant if we are measuring to the nearest millimeter, but if I want to change that so that we measure to the nearest centimeter, I can do that too. Now this little tip we need to do with every new document, it doesn't remember it like the template. I'm going to go to Window, Model Info, and you can see through the list, if I pick units, we can see the format. Uh, we're measuring is decimal. We're measuring in meters. And the precision is to the nearest millimeter. That's three decimal places. If I click on this, it will give me the options of how many decimal places we measure to. I'm going to measure to two decimal places. So that is the nearest centimeter. You'll notice also that the enable length snapping has changed to two decimal places too. This means that should I draw any lines and they are close together, it will join them up. It will naturally guess that I'm trying to be accurate to the nearest centimeter, not millimeter. So here's a new shape. It is 2.01 meters by 1.76 meters. So we are measuring to the nearest centimetre. A good starting point for any design work. 